Hi guys, it's Sanelius and welcome back to this Let's Play or Replay of World of Tanks. Now we're going to be playing in the Stug 4, which is actually a premium tank, which he earned basically through completing the first of the four campaigns in the game. Now it's a nice little vehicle, it looks very much like the Stug 3, of course, but, the, but with the actually uh, side skirts that we see on here. Gives you a bit of spaced armor on the sides, which uh, of course makes it possible for you to potentially, yeah, bounce some shots or basically not have uh, all the full penetration on the shots on the flanks but it's got a very very nice rate of fire this particular tank hasn't got the biggest gun but that's it's not all about the biggest gun it's also about the rate of fire and basically how we're doing and then you see that we got a pretty decent amount of ammunition on board in total we got space for what is it 61 i believe 61 shells and as you can see i've spread it out over mostly the standard shells some premium uh, armor penetrating shells, plus of course some more high explosive stuff. Um, sorry, also more uh, penetrating, armor penetrating stuff. <clears throat> Anyways, we're gonna get ourselves in a nice position here at the top of the hill. Uh, as you can see, or we started on the north side. I'm basically positioning myself with a bit of cover here from the uh, the rock here. I was kind of trying to basically aim in a uh, north, sorry, in the south easterly direction, so at least that can basically take out whoever came over the ridge there. Unfortunately, it looks like we basically got people going for the castle there. So what we're going to do in this particular game is we're going to basically try to yeah, prevent too many enemies from actually going through the castle by taking them under fire ourselves. But yeah, we first need to see exactly what's going on there. It looks like there's more of them actually heading into there. And there's a nice tank destroyer I might be able to put a shot into. Yep, he's actually firing on our compatriot there. And as you can see, we put a shell into him. And thanks to a great rate of fire, we can actually put a second and a third shell into him. Unfortunately, the third shell did not penetrate. It just bounced off of his armor. He got shot to, uh, at least two times penetrating, once uh, non-penetrating. Does he take some cover behind the rock there? In the meantime, we put a, sh a shot into the DW2. And we try to put another shot into that, what is it, a T28. But the DW2 basically hasn't learned his lesson. We're basically putting another shot into him. Now we know where he is. So we're basically going to keep on firing in exactly the same position. And as you can see, we are able to actually take him out in full. So the DW2 has died on the enemy's team. Now we got a slight lead in terms of the actual kill ratio, or we had. And now it's 4 to 4, and now it's 5 to 4. So yeah, we, we keep on being on the positive side in terms of the numbers. Which of course is great. Now that tank destroyer we saw earlier, is he going to come back? Is he going to show himself? I did see a tree falling there. And I'm basically aiming at that location where I saw the tree falling. And as you can see, we were able to take out the Wolverine there. And of course, there's another tank there, which is a Type 95, which we're able to take under fire straight away. But unfortunately, he's basically got some cover from rocks. So we're not able to keep on firing on him. But the T-28 has exposed its flank again. So we're putting a shot into the T-28. And unfortunately, it pulls back before we're able to finish him. Thus far, we have actually dealt 524 direct damage, as far as we can see. Remember that we basically put a few shots into ones that were not visible, so those are not listed in the stats that we see down there. So yeah, you do see the damage to the uh, Type 95, and then before that is the DW2. So those two other tanks that we killed, they're not listed in there, unfortunately. <clears throat> so in the post-game stats, we'll be, of course be able to see the full number amount of damage that we dealt. There is here a Churchill, unfortunately, exposing itself. Uh, and as you will see, unfortunately, its armor is a bit too thick for us to penetrate. But yeah, I'll keep on firing a few shots. And I'm, meh, I'm actually considering putting an extra shot in there with other ammunition. But for the moment, I'm just tracking him. Which, of course, means that he won't be able to move. And we should be able to get some uh, experience from that as well. We were able to put the final shot into him, luckily. So the killing shot, which is great. And still, they're using that castle there on the west side of the map. They're not exposing themselves at the moment, so I, I can't really put anything in, into them. So no shots can go into them, unfortunately. But I might be the person actually who spots them again first if they were to expose themselves, which can actually lead to me getting more indirect experience or experience from indirect shots. All right, one of my compatriots again shot, uh, exposes them, spots them. And the T, is it a T28 that died? And unfortunately, my yeah, ally, the T67, died shortly after. 
Looks like the Type 95 is the one that killed him. All right, he's exposing himself. Let's try to take a shot at him. I was able to fire in this direction, but I missed. Unfortunately, I hit the, the rocks over there. So I'm just going forward here to try to get, get a yeah, better shot at him. And it looks like the uh, the Italian P2640 actually was able to kill him off, which is great. So let's actually go towards the other side of the map. There's only one tank left, which is their SPG, so their artillery. So let's see what we can do about that final tank there. Tank being the SPG. All right, so we're driving as fast as we can. It's not the fastest vehicle, even though we're going like 38, 37, just because we're going downhill at the moment. But uh, yeah, I would love to be able to get the next one in. So I'm going to basically make a few sacrifices if need be, but yeah, our team of course is sacred. All right, we're going straight through these walls, through the fences here, just cross country, trying to yeah, race pretty much for their, their uh, flag, flag zone. Uh, now we do have a light tank basically just going ahead of us there. That is, what is it, a T-80? Yep, T-80. And yeah, ooh, the T-80 spots the artillery or the SPG. And what's that gonna happen here? The SPG is able to kill the T-80. Now we missed a shot there. We're able to put another shot into him. And then we're gonna try to get the kill, so we ran him. So we finally got that extra kill. So we got four kills, most kills of the team thus far which is great, and that's our victory. Nice one. So, as you can see, we got a yeah, first great badge, which is great, we finished a uh, mission here. Um, and yeah, we got a pretty decent result, 5,500 XP, there, thanks to a special event where there's a five time multiplier. Overall, 735 base XP, uh, and we dealt about 970 damage, pretty decent, plus of course, some indirect shots as well. Guys, hopefully you had enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care.